How's it going guys, RXXC here, and today I wanted to do a interesting video. Um, I wanted to review two of the new Bakugan from the new Armored Elite, uh, Armored uh, Alliance stuff um, that in particular I think are really going to affect the game moving forward. Um, not in a crazy way, they're not broken, uh, but I do see them as being incredibly viable Bakugan uh, in a couple different decks moving forward. Uh, and for my fans that aren't necessarily too hardcore into the meta or looking up things like going to the brawler cafe going in all the discords and discussing what exactly is the best things to play i at least wanted to bring these two uh up and up front and center so that you know at least what to expect if you're going to any local tournaments or anything like that um things that won't be in this video are like rapid fire um uh, that's going to be like in like a separate video, I guess, if I do that. Uh, but two specific Bakugan is what I'm going to be talking about. And those are uh, the new Ultra Trox uh, in Chaos. Um, we're going to get into stats and stuff here in a second individually. And then the first one we're going to talk about here is the Core Dragonoid from Ventus. Um, this one's honestly my favorite, even though I actually haven't even tried it yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about this Ventus Dragonoid. So, I'm going to put the card up on the screen here. Um, he comes with a Helix and a Magic Shield. Uh, so, your max bonuses you can be getting from this are 600 and 650. Okay, um, Magic Shield's obviously not busted, not broken, but very good. <laughs> um, and his stats come 602. And so, that's really cool. Uh, so, you can get up to like 1250. You're bringing a Magic Shield, uh, so that's very good. Um, it's a core Bakugan. It opens fairly seamlessly. Uh, I don't have too many problems opening it. It's honestly one of my best opening Bakugan. I have played with it, rolled with it, uh, done some things with it, uh, but it's it's really cool. I, I really like it. It's a lot better than the old Dragonoid. To me, it is. Um, it's a little more dynamic looking, built a little better. I don't know. But we're talking about playing the game. Uh, it's Ventus, so you get to bring some cool cards along with you, including Tusk Guard, uh, which is something that we're going to be discussing in this video a lot. Um, uh, and partner-wise, your options are open a little bit, um, but there's a certain deck that's kind of going around, which involves Tusk Guard and a card called Chaos Suplex. I'll put both of those up on the screen here for you. Uh, basically, these cards say that if you play a card worth five cost or more, um, that you get some kind of effect. So Tusk Guard is B power, Hail Suplex is damage. Um, and basically, after some kind of rule change that happened, uh, I'm making a YouTube video and I don't know the specifics, but something happened. <laughs> and it basically says that uh, the Tusk Guard works if you play a card that has the energy cost written on it. So, like... If you play a card like Song of Fire, well, that's, that doesn't work either. If you if you reduce its energy costs in some way, shape, or form, or you, you use Dan, I'll use that example. If you use Dan and you play Tusk Guard, uh, or play um, something that costs five for free, let's say Tusk Guard. You played a Tusk Guard for free off of Dan. Um, you played it for free, uh, but the ruling says that that card costs five. And so since it costs that much, um, that... Uh, activates the effect. So I Dan off a Tusk Guard, and then let's say I had another Tusk Guard or a Chaos Suplex in my hand, boom, you can play both of those for free and get this massive uh, help in your battle. Um, Tusk Guard is subtracting 800. Uh, so it is a Ventus card, and that's kind of normal. Uh, so it kind of hurts uh, against Shadow Strike, um, but there's not too, too, too much of Shadow Strike going around anyway. Not that I see at all, ever, half the time. Uh, so um, that's really interesting. So going back to the Dragonoid, the good thing about it <laughs> is that it's Evo, which I'm going to put up here on the screen. Actually, let me pull it up for myself. All right, there it is. Yeah. Uh, I love this card. I love the look of this card. I love the ability that this card brings and I love what you could possibly end up doing with this card. So Maximus Dragonoid Inventus. It's actually a Bakugan Elite, which, um, is going to make this deck a little harder to make. Uh, hopefully they re they uh, max print all the uh, Bakugan elites like they did in set one <laughs> or set two whatever it was I forgot it was like a crazy amount of Bakugan elites going around um, so Maximus Dragonoid five cost which plays into the things I was just talking about Tusk Guard Chaos Suplex really cool stuff 
This one is 1,207. Um, seven is very good. And don't forget, hey, I'll suplex. Get you to 14. Uh, Tusk Guard will help you battle here. Uh, you bring in a magic shield, so you're getting around 850. Uh, 850 to 800, depending on if you land on a Helix, Magic Shield, whatever. Um, and uh, this is where it gets really cool. So, Trifecta says, uh, if your Bakugan have three or more Baku cores attached to them, blank. And Maximus Dragonoid here has Trifecta, and it says you can play this for free, but it costs five. So, uh, the other thing to remind yourself of is that if you're not, you know, familiar, too familiar with the game, you can play Bakugan Evos on top of themselves. So, this says if your Bakugan have three or more Bakugan cores attached to them, you can play for free. So, you can do that a couple times. Um, three times per game. Uh, so, what's cool about this is that you have three activations for Tusk Guard and Chaos Suplex for free. Um, and there's other thing, other ways of doing that. I mean, I talked about Dan earlier. That's a way of doing it too. But this one's just really cool. Um, it's a it's a pretty formidable Bakugan. Um, you're bringing along Tusk Guard, so you're bringing things down 800, uh, and you're going up to 1850. Uh, so things like Chaos Nilius would have to work their way back up to get around the Tusk Guard. Um, other big guys, the Dragonoids. Uh, um, I mean, Maximus, when it's not obliterating you like Exodia, get around that. I don't think people are play, are people play, still playing Maximus. If you're still playing Maximus, put it down in the comments. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that Bakugan, uh, but whatever. Um, Titan Dragonoid, uh, the big boy trucks, uh, this thing, which we're talking about in the future in a second, um, are all going to have to work their way to get back to where you are if you're playing this Tusk Guard deal. Uh, and obviously, you're playing those for free. Um, so you could have a turn where you evolve, get up to 1200, say you're sitting on a magic shield, you're at 1850. You play Tusk Guard because your Dragon on Maximus activated the ability that lets Tusk Guard play itself for free. You subtract your opponent by 800. Then you have a Chaos Suplex in your hand, possibly. You play that, and now you're saying, hey, if you don't beat me, I'm about to hit you with a ton of damage. Um, and you haven't played a single energy that turn. That's the cool part. It's really awesome. Not busted, not broken. It's just really really cool. So play you a bunch of, you know, nature's power. Um, I mean, you could play, uh, um, tangle vines if you want. Um, but you know, that's another 800. I don't know if you need to do that. <laughs> so there's options for you. If you're playing it along with chaos, play a consort, get you some more damage, whatever, bring you a red fist Bakugan, put some six, some six damages out there, something like that. Uh, but yeah, final thoughts on this thing. Uh, I, I really am excited to try it. It's probably going in the next deck I made. I make, sorry. Um, currently, I'm still playing HTN. Um, trying to figure out what new stuff to put in it. Uh, but uh, I think I've run the course of that one. And I'm ready for something new. Uh, and I get to play Ventus, which is my favorite faction. Uh, and I love this little guy. So Next, we are going to talk about um, the big boy. Uh, Chaos Trox Ultra. And um, this thing is the more powerful of the two that we're talking about today. Um, but the cost of it is where people start running into issues. Um, I believe it's 7 cost Evo. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at his character card real quick. All right, so character card wise, uh, base form, uh, he is a magic shield green fist, which again, bring in another magic shield. So you can stick this into a couple of different things. Um, 802. So with that, <laughs> you're hitting a really high number uh, at the beginning of the game. If you choose to roll him out at the beginning of the game before, um, seeing his evo you would say hey i'm just i can start with this guy he's a good chaos starter that's pretty cool uh but when we start looking at his evo so let's go ahead and look at that um it is a very good bakugan all right so what you're looking at right now is the godzilla uh white godzilla <laughs> maximus trox ultra he's a seven cost which is where it gets a little iffy um 1509 damage but if you have Trifecta, just like the Dragonoid we just talked about, um, you get 1,500 plus 6. So you're getting 3,015 damage. It's pretty crazy. Um, it's very powerful. This thing rolls like a dream, to be honest with you. Uh, he, the only thing about him is that sometimes he jumps so hard with his tail that he like leaves the core on the ground. Um, not too big of a problem if you're hitting 3,000. But again... 
if you're hitting a magic shield, you're hitting 3,650. And that's just crazy. Uh, it's really hard to get to that level of B-power in the game. You have to be playing like a really specific sort of Bakugan to get that high. Um, and it's just, it's just really crazy. It's really interesting. Our best success with this so far has been playing it in a Tusk Guard uh, Chaos uh, Suplex deck that has Dan. Just so we can try to cheat this thing out. And we almost get it out like every game. Uh, I mean, if you get two Dan's out, you double Dan, you get your thing, you get these guys out, you know, and then you play this, it activates Tusk Guard, it activates, you know, uh, Chaos Suplex, um, and you kind of play like this big BV Evo deck, it's kind of cool. Um, Hunter Surge did a, uh, from the Brawler Cafe, did a deck profile on a Lupithion deck that um, really focused on playing these cards, uh, and I really liked it, so we put our own spin on it, uh, we threw Dan in there, uh, if y'all want to see it, I can do a deck profile, but... I recommend going and see the Brawler Cafe's version first uh, and see what you can do with that list. Um, ours just basically added Dan uh, and a couple different things. Oh, and we were playing Nobilius with it for the Pyrus. Uh, so you get your super fuel, so you play stuff for cheaper, but you're playing it for the cost that's on there. Anyway, um, roll this out third. Because basically, both of these guys, which we have to think about with Trifecta, it's the easiest triggering ability that we have because it's not um dependent on too many things outside of your control it's uh it's it's you rolling third you have three baku cores you activate trifecta just like that and so it's really interesting because the a lot of the trifecta ones are actually just good <laughs> these two uh very much so so um i just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of these two I know a lot of my fans aren't too, too, uh, you know, um, aren't the best at deck building as myself. Uh, I do really good when I get an idea, like I took the, the deck profile from Hunter, uh, and kind of changed it up, made our own. Um, but I don't know. Um, I know some of y'all maybe just play your favorite faction. You play whatever. I just want you to be aware that these are out there. So find a way to beat 3,650 with the cards you like, or just join the club and play it like I am. <laughs> I love this thing. It's a Trox. Of course I'm going to play this. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was informative. Um, uh, I'm not the most, you know, detailed person when it comes to like this meta analysis stuff. Uh, but I do know that these Bakugan are really good. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want more stuff like this in the future, and please leave a like on the video. Uh, so I know I'm starting to, I have enough videos on my channel to where I can use likes to analyze whether or not y'all like something I do. Um, so please leave a like on the video. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, we have new battles coming soon. Um, we're going to try to focus on battles for a little bit here. We're having a lot of fun with the new stuff. We need the new cards to come out. I don't know when they're coming out, but soon that needs to happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you all enjoy this. It was kind of fun sitting here talking. Uh, my lighting is starting to leave, so I will leave. Goodbye. <laughs>